So about four weeks ago, I got an infection in my body um, and it was the first time I've ever had anything like that. And it was really puzzling me as to how I got the infection. And so I did the um, something that I don't normally do and I got onto Google and I was looking up the symptoms and looking up the potential causes for it. And there was a long list of things that could have been potentially causing it, none of which I felt applied to me. Um, it wasn't painful and it wasn't debilitating, but it was annoying. And um, <clears throat> so I just thought, well, it doesn't really matter what's caused it. I'm going to speak to it. So I just started to speak to it every time I noticed it and said that it had no place in my body, that it was rooted up and cast into the sea. And a short time later, I got a word from God and he showed me that it was something that I was doing that was causing the infection in my body. And it just went off like a light bulb in me. And I knew that that was a word from God for me. And then a couple of weeks after that, my youngest daughter, Virginia, she had um, been coughing a lot. She had had a cough for about two months, just a, you know, a nighttime, early morning kind of cough. And it was, um, you know, just going on and on and on. And it was really irritating me. And I, w I must admit to you that I wasn't doing anything about it. But then I just got to the point where like, oh, this is ridiculous. This has to go. And so again, I started to speak to it. Just speak to the coughing, command it to stop. Command her, I commanded her chest to clear up. And then I got another word from God because she came out of the bathroom one night having had her shower. And normally my kids, they get out of the shower and they go pretty much straight to bed. And Virginia having hair, longer hair, because she's the girl, had wet hair. And I just got a word from God that every single night when she goes to bed, she goes to bed with wet hair. And we normally have the fan on in their room for white noise. And I just knew that that was what was causing her coughing. And so within the space of a couple of weeks, two physical issues that we were dealing with in our family, and twice God gave me a word to say what I could do in the natural to fix the situation. And so what I wanted to encourage you guys with is that it's so often the case that when we're dealing with a sickness or a pain or some kind, actually this can apply to any circumstances we're going through in our life, financial, emotional, we always tend to try and find out what's going on, what's causing it. We look to Google, we look to the experts, we look to the, you know, the medical um, experts, we look to the financial experts, we go and we're looking in all these different directions trying to figure out what the cause of the problem is and what the solution of the problem is. However, God's got that wisdom for you. And if there's something that you can do in the natural to fix your situation, he'll give you that wisdom. He'll give you that wisdom. But we have to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And you're all familiar with the scripture in Proverbs 3 verse 5 that says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and to lean not on your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. And so the temptation is to lean on our own understanding first and then trust in the Lord. So we go looking down, like I said, down all the different avenues, trying to figure out what it could be, what could be causing it. But he says, trust me with all your heart first and don't lean on your own understanding. Don't lean on the, what you know and understand about the situation. But in all your ways, acknowledge me and I will direct your paths. So if there's wisdom that you're needing in that situation that you're dealing with, he'll give it to you, but it'll come to you as you seek him first, as you trust him with all your heart. And that simply means saying what God says, declaring what he says about the situation, not letting your mind run down all of the different um, all of the different avenues of could it be this, could it be that? What if I tried this? What if I tried that? And so that's just what I wanted to encourage you with today. And, you know, alongside speaking to the problem, declaring what God says over it, just say, Lord, I thank you that if I'm lacking wisdom in this, that you give it to me liberally. I thank you that I have the wisdom of God to know how to navigate this situation. And it will drop into your spirit and it'll go off in you like a light bulb. In both of those scenarios, I wasn't even thinking about the problem. 
I was only saying what God said about it and the, the revelation came to me and it was like a light bulb moment and I hadn't even been thinking about it. So you'll know when you hear from God because it will go off in your spirit and it will bring you peace and it will be, bring you freedom because God says that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is freedom. So I hope that's encouraged some of you today. Just remember that God says his word never fails. So when we are declaring what God says about a situation and we're agreeing with him, his word will not fail you in that situation. That's all. Have a wonderful day.